I was always restless. I had to get away. I had to get out of Brooklyn. They were squeezing me. My father, he'd say, you have to have a career. I said, I want to be a writer. What kind of career is that for a nice Jewish girl? <laughs> Ruth Gruber is a writer and a lecturer and is the youngest PhD in the world and is quite good looking. I was a rebellious kid. I wanted to encompass the whole world. I wanted to know what everything was like. So that really set my whole course. I was a foreign correspondent for the New York Herald Tribune. Hitler was coming into power, and I pretended I was a German citizen, and I sat as the closest to Hitler's podium. His voice was something I will never, ever forget. You took pictures. You carried a camera. I demand the camera, and I demand the pictures. I realized what these people had gone through, and I knew that I had to get their stories. My editor said, these pictures, they don't belong to you. They belong to the world. When we came to the ship, the soldiers gave her a pair of pants because she had a tight skirt on, so she could go on that ladder. And somebody said, oh, it's Eleanor Roosevelt. My mother said, Mr. Secretary, you're sending my daughter to Europe now in the middle of the war. How do I know she'll come home safe? Don't worry, mother. We're making her a general. So you were not just a journalist? Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs>